Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me right here, right now. This is Sheeny Sunday. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome back to this episode of, brand new episode of Sheeny Sunday. I know I've been missing you guys on the uh, past uh, shows, but we're going to start the New Year's off right. So uh, I am here right here. Uh, before I uh, move on, let me go ahead and run my... Um, uh should i say disclosure and again i apologize for the internet service uh unfortunately uh, still having a problem but we have audio so i'm here nothing's going to stop me these channels and these videos are not meant for children under the age of 13. warning omega city news talk show t cream in the morning Sheeny Sunday, Live at Nine, Jury Review content. Warning, you must be over the age of 18. Okay, so welcome, welcome. All right, so let me just go ahead and add the blog page to the stream. And let me just go ahead and spruce up this background on this day. Okay, let's see. I understand it's not the uh, correct background for Sheeny, but we got you covered. All right, so let me just go ahead and start off and say that the blog page is up to date. So you guys can go up on a blog page and get your life on a blog page. So again, this is Sheeny Sunday. Uh, I'm trying to get all the broadcasts out for the beginning of the year 2022. Happy New Year's on this day right here, right now. All right, so let me just go ahead and give you guys some news. So let me uh, give you guys the top breaking news. The top breaking news that is happening right here, right now, right here in the studio is I'm still having a problem with damn internet. Now, listen, I gave you guys some uh, information that uh, is on the uh, previous streams, uh, but let me just give you guys an update. I called again to Optimum, and I really hope that Sammy uh tuned into my video and watched it because he did say that he wanted to um he was going to follow and watch the video so i really hope that he watched it and if he did watch it shout out to you for uh watching but i'm still having this problem so let me just go ahead and give you guys the update so i call the optimum people and they pretty much was like uh listen you're still under the same plan that you have because i actually to break down my bill where I'm getting the optimal 100 with upload speeds of like up to 35. So they said that it is still the same. So I'm saying to her, like, no, it can't be the same because I'm getting upload speeds. And then I'm, I'm, I'm asking her, I'm like, y'all able to see the download speeds, 
but y'all not, y'all not able to see the upload seeds. She's like, correct. So I'm like, well, that's crazy because if y'all are able to see the download speeds, but y'all can't see the upload speeds, but you're able to tell me that your advertisement says that the optimum 100 is supposed to guarantee you up to the 35 speed. And the article that I showed you guys in the previous uh, episode was that um, a, a change had happened where back in July of 2021, where the uh, Altice uh, for Optum 100 was from 35 went to five, but everything was changing, but that was for new subscribers, upgrade, downgrade. So I spoke to a friend earlier this morning and he was explaining to me that since your box changed from Optimum to Altice, I'm thinking that's like a, a change in a service. But long story short, a technician is coming out on 1-3-2022 and they're supposed to bring a box with them. And they also supposed to, I guess, get the services up. When I last checked it a few minutes ago, it was having problems. When I started this video, it was having problems. So what I'm doing, I'm also I'm releasing audio and I'm also releasing the video because it seems like the video is sometimes interrupted, but the audio seems like it's fine. So you guys can hear me. I can get the audio out. Uh, it's, it's perfect. The, the other problem is the upload. Now, my friend also told me that maybe I should go and use the Wi-Fi, which I do see hotspots uh, on um, the um, internet because they tell me I can't use my ethernet. And I'm like, well, why can't you use my ethernet? All this, ladies and gentlemen, has started around December 11. We are on 1-2-22, a new year, okay? I have had interruptions for the past four weeks okay we had within that time frame from december 11 all the way to now we have had two technicians come out which was one for the modem one for the optimum we i had a, a box change which i don't see why if my box changed the modem change where it's all uh in one i'm still a, 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 a customer right i'm still a customer and i pretty much I'm not a new subscriber. There's no downgrade upgrade. You understand? I wouldn't think so because I'm switching from the Optimum box to this Altice box. But you should know that my plan should be Optimum 100. I'm paying $89, $89.99 for the Optimum Online 100. You understand? And I should be getting my upload speeds and I should not be having this problem because I is interference and this is interference in my YouTube game is interfering with my life that I do online. Okay, give me back what I had. And it's like, I can't go nowhere else to Verizon, they're not in the area. I can't go to Spectrum, they're not in the area. So Optimum, you got to do your job and stop duking the customers out of what they're paying you and i'm reading stories all online like it's crazy and it's like they're quick to send they're quick to send you you know a letter in the in in, in your uh envelope or in, to your house telling you that the price is going to raise but they're not sending you anything because i have not gotten anything and i would think that you wouldn't get anything kareem because it wouldn't affect you because you're not a new customer you understand, but you should assure that if you was to downgrade or upgrade, because that's what I read on there, that this that this would change. But again, I am not a new customer. Okay, I see that they have a promotion out for like twenty nine ninety nine or forty nine ninety nine, where they're getting one gig, and that's upload speeds of nine eighty and download speeds of nine something, and it's like, well, damn, I'm getting nearly one fourteen and speed of zero point something and one point something so it's like it's crazy when i went on the outside network like on somebody else like on the other hot spots i was getting faster speeds on that than i would get from what i'm supposed to get here listen i'm telling y'all to check your internet if you have a router in your home and you think you're getting these speeds like i can download speeds okay everything's working fine or whatever but if you are a YouTube gamer and you are uploading to the internet, and you're like, well, why is it buffering and all this other stuff? Are it lagging? Make sure you check with your, uh, do an internet check, do an internet speed check online, okay, one device, 
and then also call and ask because I I don't understand. I don't understand how again Optimum is able to do all this. They can reset from where they at. They can tell who's on your Wi-Fi. They can tell you your download speed, but they can't tell you your upload speed. Why? I don't know. Why would you make a box? Why would you make a box that has all three in one, Wi-Fi and modem, okay, and don't have access to the Wi-Fi, but you can say, I mean, I'm sorry, don't have access to the uploads, but you can say we have, you have perfectly good download speeds, but the advertise says up to 35 something upload. But the question is, how do you know you're getting it if they don't see it and you're not, you're not, you know, getting it until you would go and run a check? You feel me? So it's like, it's some craziness going on, like seriously. And I think as a person, a customer, you need to understand what's happening. And with the, the optimum people, like seriously, y'all need to get y'all shit together. Okay. Y'all need to get it together because this is unfair that we're paying you money as consumers and as customers. And then you're supposed to be, you're advertising all this stuff online and on television and on posts and advertisement, but the customers, satisfaction is not what it's supposed to be and it's horrible horrible there should not have been no service interruption to me i did not make any service changes okay i could have perfectly kept the box that i had before which was the modem and the router okay it was a router it was the um the wi-fi and the um the router i had that it was nothing wrong with it so i guess they assumed that I was a new customer because I was in an optimal 100, but that should not have been touched. It should not have been touched, okay? Because I, the fact is, if it if it if it was if it should have been touched, okay, it it would have been if I uh, downgraded, upgraded. But then again, like I told y'all, my friend told me that since you changed your box, maybe that's like the upgrade or a downgrade or something. I don't know, but. I'm going to surely be on the phone with them again to let them know to bring me a box or even ask them, is that the reason why my service changed? But from the um, the, the the operator yesterday, she was just saying that, you know, we're going to work on this. She was telling me some information that I wanted to know. And I was like, OK, fine. So uh, now what's going to happen is um, hopefully when they come out on 1-3-2022, uh, we should have everything up and going. Again, I don't want to make the video short, but this is the breaking news. I'm here. I hope it's not any lagging going on. I don't see the light coming up or whatever, you know, telling me. But again, if it is, baby boy, we have audio. Okay, we have audio. I'll just sit here and let it upload. It takes like a half an hour before it uploads. No, they got to correct this. They have to correct this. All right, so if you guys go on the blog page, uh, you see Happy New Year's, Kareem in the Morning, Part B, uh, which this is the video. Also, I want to say special thanks to TST TV uh, for uh, putting the, the uh, San Diego and San Francisco ATS trucking online. Now, the reason why I thank them is because I have not been over on YouTube gaming in a while since this problem has happened. You understand? So they got to fix this. They have to fix this seriously. Okay. So this is the San Francisco, uh, the uh, San Diego trucking that uh, I sent over because I had to send over something over there for my YouTube gaming people. Uh, I do know that y'all was asking for another episode of Project Hospital, I did tell you in the last episode previous in the season two that Omega Medical Center or Clemens Medical Center was closing, okay? So yeah, so you guys can get your life on TST TV. Uh, there's a new episode coming. Now, there's also uh, uh, other games that uh, uh, is being sent to me as far as, uh, let me see, King of Retail and PC Simulator. So those games are in the work of uh, being uh, uh, videotaped, and hopefully we can upload it here on the uh, gaming. All right, so 
let me just see if there's any breaking news. We I did tell you throughout the beginning of the year that, of course, we know Betty White passed away. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be any funeral arrangements set for her. I do know that there is something being planned because there was a big, big party that was supposed to happen for her, but unfortunately, it didn't happen. Okay, so welcome back to Sheen Sunday right here, right now. This is a new episode. Uh, it's not going to be that long because I want to be able to upload it there onto the stream. But uh, there is uh, some information that's coming from social media. They're talking about a fourth stimulus check, 2022, a $1,400 payment available at the start of 2022. Now, I don't know how uh, uh, real this is. But this is just information that uh, you guys can catch in the description box that I'll leave at in the bottom of this video of information about a stimulus check that probably is in the works or hopefully is in the works. They're saying like a stimulus check to individuals because we're uh, possibly going into another meltdown. If anything, we are still in a meltdown and it's probably getting worse because inflation has gone up. Everything's gone up. Food's gone up. Clothing go, is going to go up. Uh, uh, furniture is going to go up. Everything is going to go up in 2022. And also, guys, if you um, did not know or should know that, number one, New York City has a new mayor. Uh, his name is Eric Adams. And number two, all the policies that the previous administration before this current administration has done is over. So now 2022 all everything that goes into effect that the laws and everything that goes into effect in 2022 is from biden and harris now okay it's no more from the previous administration 2020 was from the previous administration i don't want to say his name okay so we're in 2022 so now everything that happens now as far as law changes all this stuff is because of biden harris from 2022 putting in effect for 2022 for 2020 putting it in effect for 2022 okay so yeah so if you guys are joining here this is uh the america truck simulator san diego to san francisco that you guys can catch up on tsc tv you are joining here on sheeny sunday so yeah so back to the uh stimulus check so yesterday they're saying so i read a proposal that they were saying like maybe they should send like two thousand dollars to um you know to individuals and like a thousand dollars to the kids but here is something saying in order to get a $1,400 stimulus uh, check payment in the United States to start a new year, there's a specific criteria to follow. Then they're saying this is a $1,400 stimulus check is un understandable, a big deal, and we'll explain below all you need to know in order to work it out if you claim this check in 2022 and how to do so. So I don't know if this is like an ad or something. And, you know, please follow your guidelines for your city and federal don't take anything hold on let me just run this right here i forgot to run it warning the views expressed and opinions on this program are just the views and opinions don't take any of this serious but i will warn you viewer discretion is advised okay so yes um so yeah so uh i'm gonna just send this i'm just gonna put this down in the info i'm gonna put this down in the info description box down below Okay, so yes, yeah, so at this time, I just want to go ahead and end this show right here, right now, because I don't want it to be too long. All right, guys, so thank you, and I will update you guys as everything is being updated for me. All right, for more information, you guys visit the blog page. I'm just kind of find this real quick. Okay, thank you. Later.